Here at Sunny Cove Farm, not only are our practices regenerative and sustainable on the farm, but also in our farm store. A good example of this is that we use reusable half-gallon glass jars. When you come to the farm to buy milk for the first time, you'll purchase those jars. You'll purchase two half-gallon jars for one gallon of milk, and then you'll bring them back clean each time. I'll show you washing instructions later in the video. But when you bring the jars back to the farm, whether you're part of a CSA or an individual member, we will inspect the jars for cleanliness. If jars still have staining or brush marks, we'll set them aside for hand washing again. Next, if the jars are sparkling clean, we will run them through our three-phase sanitizer. First, we'll insert the jars into a dishwashing rack. In our dishwasher, we also use an eco-clean soap. This soap is free of any sulfates, parabens, or other toxic ingredients. Once the jars are loaded in the rack, we insert them into the middle of the machine, and it starts with the hot soapy phase. Next, there are two rinse phases. The first rinse phase uses apple cider vinegar to remove any soap residue and leave a nice shine. The last rinse phase is just hot, hot water. When the jars are removed from the sanitizer, we place them right side up back into the case or crate that they came from, and then we place them next to the wood stove with hot, hot heat for air drying. Why is it important to have clean jars? Milk jars should be sterilized and clean to prevent any contamination. An incompletely clean bottle that has been capped for a while will definitely start to produce an odor. This milk is not necessarily unsafe, but will definitely risk souring sooner than you'd like. Rinsing or soaking empty bottles right away helps a lot. I often use cold or lukewarm water because if the water is too warm, it can actually bind the milk to the glass. If you're going to use a dishwasher for cleaning your jars, Rinse and soak them first before putting them in the dishwasher. If you're hand washing jars, rinse and soak them first with cold or lukewarm water before submerging them in soap. If your hand is too large to fit inside the jar, you can also use a bottle brush, but make sure that you adequately remove all of the milk and soap. First, I'm going to remove the label from the lid and then remove the lid from the jar. I'll set the lid aside to wash after I'm done with the jar. Next, I'm going to start with the rim and pay special attention to any milk residue. Oftentimes, milk gets stuck between the rings of the rim, so it does take a little extra scrubbing to get those clean. Then I'll move to inside the bottle and then around the outside. Notice I'm scrubbing several times inside and then outside, rotating back and forth. Lastly, I'm going to rinse the bottle and let it drip dry over the sink until it's foam dry. Next, I'm going to wash the lid. Again, with the rings around the inside, I'm going to pay special attention to getting those clean and the milk all off of it. Lastly, I'm going to set that next to the jar and I will not cap it until it's completely dry. If you cap a jar that is too wet on the inside, it can create bacterial growth. An important note on soap. Many people don't realize that a lot of commonly sold soaps in the grocery store contain toxins or very strong fragrances that other people can be sensitive to. When we're inspecting jars as they return to the farm, if they have a strong sm soap smell, we will wash them again with a non-toxic soap. We recommend that even if you choose not to use it on a regular basis, that you always keep a non-toxic, eco-friendly soap in your home for washing milk bottles. We supply Ecover brand and Thieves in our farm store. Because our jars are glass, we understand that occasionally they will get a chip in them. If your jar has a chip or a crack, please still return it with a post-it or a tape labeling that it is so, so that we can remove it from circulation. The same goes to special staining. Sometimes jars come stained from the manufacturer. We're not quite sure the cause, but they seem to be a permanent stain. If you notice one of those, we still like to remove that from circulation as well. So please send it back with something indicating where the stain is on the jar. Together, we are building a new food system, which means taking responsibility for the cleanliness of jars and other things that might affect our neighbors. We appreciate all your efforts in helping us keep these jars clean so that we can continue to provide you with fresh milk. If you wanna know more about our milking process, our jugging process, or even our CSA system, check out the links for the videos in the notes below.